Okay, so I'm sure you guys have noticed my rather calm demeanor, but this is what happens when you spend time with the Holy Spirit. Okay, you're either one, fired up, two, very calm, or three, rather uh, just fire, just like shut up in your bones. Okay, so I'm 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 calm. <laughs> Um, okay, so me and Holy Spirit have had time to go over this. So um, I'm just going to go over this with you guys. So what Holy Spirit has brought to my attention is something that he needs me to address. So I'm going to do that now. Uh, not too long ago, uh, the Lord, uh, the Lord revealed to me in a dream um how some men and women they they're looking for love you're looking for love but the problem is when love comes to contact you when love comes within the meter of you within a few feet of you or um when when love presents itself to you through another human being you say oh no no like <laughs> please holy spirit take the will lead it okay let me give an example okay because this is a problem this is really a problem that the body of christ is having right now okay and this is to those who who desire marriage those who desire to court those who just des desire uh, uh their other okay their god ordained spouse whatever you want to call it okay to each their own so the problem you're having is you you say that you say out of your mouth that you want love okay but when love presents itself to you, you deny it, okay? You immediately cut it off, okay? You cold turkey. Like, love presents itself to you. Your husband to send, your husband will send somebody to um, inquire about you, and then you'll say that you're not looking. You're just waiting on God. You're not interested. You're just waiting on God. And that is the problem. You don't see the problem in that, that you're blocking the access that your person needs to come in contact with you. Rather than just then like, 